Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone to iCloud. Now this will work with any iOS device, so whether it be your iPad or iPhone or whatever you may have, this is how you back it up to iCloud. So what you want to do is go ahead and make sure your device is charged and it has the most up-to-date version of the operating system installed on it. Uh, and then once you've done that, it, you want to go ahead and navigate to the settings app. It will look like a gear icon. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the settings app on my phone. And then once we're here, you'll see a bunch of different options where you normally go to connect to Wi-Fi and things like that. You're now going to want to select the option up there that says Apple ID, iCloud, Media, and Purchases. It should be one of the uh, top options there on the settings app. And then once you do that, you'll see your iCloud settings. Now, couple of things here. Apple gives you five gigs for free. I have the 200 gigabyte family plan. To see what plan you have, you can see there where it says iCloud. You see where it says 200 GB. That means that I have the 200 gigabyte family plan. There's one that's two terabytes. Uh, and again, like I said, Apple gives you five gigabytes for free. Now, if you're getting that notification that a lot of folks get that says you need to back up via iCloud or you don't have enough space or storage, that means that you have eclipsed that five gigabyte threshold and you need to either upgrade to a different paid plan or find another way to back up your device. And there are a number of ways of doing that. You can, you know, back up your photos with Google Photos and things such as that. But we're talking about iCloud and your iOS device today. So here we are again in the iCloud settings under the uh, purchases and options that I just told you to go to. And then once we're here, we want to tap into iCloud right there. It'll then let me know how much of the plan that I'm using. I'm using currently 126 gigs of the 200 allotted gigabytes on my plan. The one that you want to do is you want to go and scroll down to where you see something here that says iCloud backup. It'll have a, a little curly Q arrow on it, as you can see here on my screen, and make sure that that is turned on. Now, if we tap on that and you don't have it checked, like that's unchecked, like it is there, it's blacked out, you need to go ahead and tap on that and make sure that it is green, showing that you will receive an iCloud backup if you have enough storage to do so on your plan. Now, let's say you're getting a new device, you're getting a new phone tomorrow or today, and you just need to back it up via iCloud. Now, the beauty of this is it's so much simpler than it used to be. If you have an iCloud backup of your device, of your iPhone, of your iPad, all you got to do, go to the AT&T store, go to the Verizon Sprint Apple store, get your new device, boom, it just transfers over using iCloud. It's that easy. Everything from apps, from uh, your, your contacts, to your notes, to your text, to your voicemails, everything transfers over. Now, if we go back one and go back right here to our, our iCloud settings, you can see anything that is checked on, anything that is checked on over to green, this will be basically backed up. So if I want to back up my messages, I just tap that there, turn it green, and now for the next iCloud backup, it will then back up my messages. So anything here under the iCloud settings uh, where I showed you how to get to a few seconds ago, anything that is checked over green will be in an iCloud backup. Now, if we go back to the iCloud backup settings here, you want to back it up right now. You've never backed up. You've turned it over to green, but you want to back it up now just to be careful or you're getting a new device. All you have to do is tap on the backup now option. It is the bottom option here. Go to backup now. It'll then show you the progress as far as how much time is remaining now. If you've backed up before, like my last backup, I believe was last night, and whenever you charge your iPhone, normally it backs it up over overnight. It's not like it's doing one new backup, then another new backup. It won't take that long. Now, the first one will take a long time, but once you've backed up a couple of times, it'll only start backing up the new changes or the things that are different, the new messages, the new apps that you've installed. Again, everything's kind of compounding onto the other. Now, when you get your new device, Couple of things, make sure you know your iCloud username and password, that's critical. You'll need to log in with your new device to upload the most recent backup. Now, if you're wanting to know how to basically restore a device from a backup, I have a great video showing you how to do that. I will link that down below, but this is how you back it up. It's that simple. Couple of key things here, make sure you have an iCloud account, make sure you have a plan if you have a device that's going to require over five gigabytes, because again, that is the threshold of what Apple gives you for free. 
and just make sure you know all your information. And that's it. You can back up over cellular or Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter. Make sure everything's checked on. Make sure you've tabbed over and checked everything that you want to check as far as what you want backed up and what you do not. And if you have any questions, you can put those in the comment section down below, and I'll get to those as quickly as I possibly can. Have a great day, and see you in the next video.